Hey guys, I might be talking very, very quickly, but that's because I tried to make a new video of this, but it didn't really work. Okay, here's what's going on. I seen Kendall Gray do cane pole fishing challenge, so I'm gonna do that, but instead of using bank line or fishing line, I'm using all this wire here. I did it before, but I caught a minnow, put them on, didn't have enough line, and the minnow fell off. So I came back with the swim bait, still didn't have enough line. So I got about 20 feet of line right here, maybe 10 feet, but that's that's way more than what I had. And also, I seen Kendall Gray do Kentucky food chain challenge thing, I don't know, but he started with a worm, got to a minnow, and then got to a catfish. I think I'm going to start with, I might do that, and if I do, I'm going to start with worms, go up to bluegill, use cut, use cut bait, which is, you just cut the fish in half and use one of the halves, and then try to catch a bass or catfish. So, yeah, we're just going to take this, throw it in the back of the Honda, and I am using, um, a bass, a bass, um, a bass hook. And also, I was making a video, and Lloyd, our goat, almost ate my phone. He literally had, um, almost half of my phone in his, in his mouth. And I just ripped it right out of his mouth. Well, I get protective with my with my materials. Now we gotta get back down there fast, because I still have my swim bait in the water. And who knows, boys, we might actually have a turtle on. If we do, that'd be awesome. I don't know why I'm trying to rush this. Give the turtle some time to get the swim bait. But maybe I just want to get this video over with. Okay, we gotta get to the pond. We're gonna go this way. Whoa! Slow down, slow down. There's a turn up here. Slow down. Holy cow! Good this thing. Good thing this thing has some brakes. Good thing this thing. Wow, that was a mouthful. Also, I did a in that video. I did a, a thingy, which I'll try to do it before. I did this thing where I was in third gear, you know, zero mile an hour, and I took off real quick and went two, zero, two, three, five, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, and then nineteen, and then it clicked to twenty, and there was a bird on that post. And also, there was um, yeah, that big blue bird, which um eat fish because their beaks are like that long, and. Their, their necks are longer than E.T.'s. I still got to get the wire. And so, yeah. He was eating my bluegill. He was literally out in the center of the pond. And I saw him take a fish. And I was like, boy, I need some fish too. You're not the freaking only creature that needs food. I need food. I know, you, boy, you can survive on small bluegill. But just go over to the creek and eat some minnows. Don't eat my pond. This is my pond, boys. And I do not mess around with people trying to eat my food. This is literally, if I catch a bass, I might just do a largemouth bass catch and cook. It is frowned upon not to eat bass. Do we have anything? Do we? Nope, we got absolutely nothing. And there goes something out there. I don't know what the freak it, at, it was. But we're going to try our hardest to set you guys up right here. This is all the wire that I got. I just broke that. Right here is all the wire. We're just going to set it right there. Now, yes, I did put this down here because it was pretty deep. And it probably would have kept this on air well. Okay. Now what you guys are going to see me do is... Take all of the line, which, aka wire, okay, 
just want to go like this go how in the world did I put this on oh, that's how it went like this Okay, we don't even, we just want this off. Now this is like 12 feet long of cane pole. Yeah, 12 feet long of cane brown. Oh good. Right here is what we have rigged up. Just a little swim bait and a bass hook. Like I said before. Now we're just going to try to get this, which that's going to be one of the hardest poots. Just trying to get this. Oh! I'm like hooking myself almost. There we go. We got the hook and the swim bait off. We're just going to set that right there on this piece of the dock. And this rest of the wire. Maybe we, we will just go like this and just go yank right out into the middle of the pond. Which I just get off some fish. Hopefully that big bird will come by. Freaking get tangled up in there and he'll be trapped there. I'll come down. Well, I was about to say, and I cannot do this. I was about to say, I'll come down here with my BB gun and shoot him and he will be killed. Number one, it probably won't even kill him. And number two... They're illegal to shoot, so if I shoot one of these, I'm probably going to prison for like 50 years. Do I want that? No, I do not. That guy can... Would I rather have a big bird eat all of the fish in the pond? Or would I want him to, you know... Or would I want myself to go to jail for 50 years? Probably let him... Not, not probably, definitely let him eat all the freaking fish in the pond. Because I do not like jail, even though I've never been there. And I hopefully I will never be there, ever. Okay. Now, we got a whole ton of this wire. And usually what I just did is I just went down the pole just a little bit. And then I just started wrapping around this wire. Now, what Kendall Gray taught me is that this stuff right here... It is so, what, you guys might be like, oh my goodness, what the heck, why are you using a cane pole? It's going to break straight in half. These things give so much. This little tip right here will bend probably the whole way down to the ground. It'll probably go like this. Go like this, up, and then go straight down. Seriously, that's how flexible these things are. And that's why so many people use this technique method thing. Just here just let me tell you oh there comes my mom she is coming back from the store hello mom now I can't say I'm in me mom's car anymore because well she's got a truck and it's a big truck too Jeez, Louise she's really going for it too she likes to run the absolute freak out of that truck boy and I am not lying about that See how much line of this we're gonna have. I think I got way too much line. I probably would be able to cast this thing out to the end of the pond. Now guys, don't tell me that I'm not gonna be able to do this because I probably won't be able to, but hopefully my dreams will come true. I want to make my own pool, like my own pond. Not like the size of this thing, because this thing's like one acre. Literally, this pond, my dad, I asked him, how big was the pond whenever you were, whenever you were my age? He said it was exactly one acre. And I was like, boy, that's a big pond. Because one acre, boys, that's a good bit of land. One acre's not like big, big. But it's bigger than most ponds. Most ponds out there. It is pretty big. Except that... 
doesn't really have some cool fish in it. It only has bluegill, bass, catfish, carp, and turtle. And snakes. There has been there have been snakes in here. And there's only one recorded catfish in here, and my dad caught it. It was he said it was about 19 inches, which is I guess sort of good for a catfish. Probably smaller than normal sized catfish. But heck boys, if I catch a catfish, I will be happy. Cause then now that I'd be the second ever person to catch a catfish in here. Cause this is my uncle's pond, okay? But does he fish in it? No! He barely even walks down in his place and freaking touch the water. I don't think he's ever even freaking seen the turtle's heads or anything. Okay boys. Now that we got this, we just wanna take the take this. Run this straight through it, which it fits almost perfect. You just run it, run it like this, and then just grab it like this. Ouch! That really hurt. Now, catfish don't care about what, like, line you have or anything. Okay, you guys can just maybe sit there, maybe not. Probably not. I'm gonna put it back so you guys can see. I don't know what the flick's going on. Maybe NASA's playing in another something. You guys cannot see that. Not at all. How do you guys see it? Right there? Yeah, you guys might be able to see it. Okay, good, boys. We are in fizz. We are in freaking contact. was about the same exact spot. And also we are wrapped around this too, so I bet your freaking bass is not even gonna wanna come near this. This is like its worst nightmare. Because it's like all jagged and all over the place and stuff. Farther, boys. Mother freaker. Oh my goodness, boys. This be complicated. If I actually catch something on this, that would be very surprising. I don't think turtles care either. They do not care. Like, seriously, I'm freaking... That was one of the worst casts. Okay. This is like trying to throw a cast for the first time. It's not easy. Here comes a nice shovel of the ocean. Can't really tell because I'm more focused. Try to get it 
better because, well, there was some line out in front of it. And okay, boys. My guess is that tomorrow morning, there, there's going to be nothing. I just don't have faith in, like, the casting point. What if I was, I just threw it out there, and as soon as it hit the water, a big bass just blew up on it. I would, like, poop myself. Oh my god, I just hooked myself right in the butt. Okay. Nope, never mind. Okay, boys, this is like one of the hardest sports to do. Probably isn't even considered a sport, because this is like one of the dumbest ideas, especially with wire. Wire, especially wire, why? Why? That sucks. I got to be better at this now. Like ASAP. I don't want you guys just sitting there. Freaking. Because you guys won't be entertained. Now, wh why didn't I just leave one of them better cats that I did? That isn't going to work. That's getting tangled in the line. What the heck am I doing with my life? Before, so maybe I'll just try to do this again. I just took myself. Where's the person? I think I just found a needle. I don't know how or why, but I swear I just found a needle. Oh my god, I just hooked my sweatshirt again! And I just about fell into the pond! Because I'm carrying a freaking... Oh my goodness, guys, this is the worst I can do for you to do What was the first thing that I did with this? I think I went like this, right? Pushed it down into here, and then I wrapped up all this line. I'm just gonna have to cut the cat. Not like plastic. Boy, we just stuck on something. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay, yeah, we're good. We still have got our bait. Now it is almost tangled. It is tangled. Okay, we're good. That's gonna be the best we're gonna get. Right there. Okay, we're leaving it like that. It is out there. And look at that big old mess. You guys see that big old nest? Nest right here? If something takes it, it's gonna have some, it's going to be able to pull some line. Yeah, it's gonna be able to pull some line before something happens. But boys, We've set a cane pole in 24 hours. This is part one for cane pole fishing. 24 hours. Oh. I'll check it. But for now, see you guys later. Goodbye. Well, never mind. <laughs> because, well, that didn't really work. I was trying to do what Kendall Gray does, but it didn't really work. So now we're going to try it again. Goodbye.